My name is Kedrick Armstrong. I am a conductor from Georgetown, South Carolina. I currently serve as the creative partner and principal conductor of the Knox Galesburg Symphony and am extremely excited to begin my new position as the music director of the Oakland Symphony. Dear Kedrick, congratulations. I am beyond words in expressing how thrilled I am for your incredible achievement to be appointed as the new music director of the Oakland Symphony. And I'm just so incredibly honored to have been a part of your musical journey, to see you blossom, to see you succeed, and to see you now have a chance to make a tremendous impact in our industry. Kedrick, you got what it takes. I had the great honor and joy of joining the Conducting Freeman Fellowship Program in 2016, and then was invited to be the assistant conductor for the Chicago Sinfonietta in the 2018-19 season. The moment that I received the news that I was selected to be the next music director of the Oakland Symphony, my mind immediately thought back to Paul Freeman and his start of the Chicago Sinfonietta, to Michael Morgan, who was the music director of the Oakland Symphony and who I got to work with while he was guest conducting the Chicago Sinfonietta. Being able to stand on the shoulders of these two great gentlemen and so many other black conductors uh, was such an honor for me. You know, it gave me encouragement. It gave me uh, a strength to know that I would not be stepping into this job alone, but that I would take on uh, the legacy of so many phenomenal black conductors, artists, and musicians who've come before me. The Freeman Fellowship Program was one of the first times in my life where I was highlighted and celebrated as a black conductor. I'd spent so much of my early education trying to assimilate and fit into classical music, but the Freeman Fellowship Program and the staff and Mei Ann Chin really taught me the power of my blackness on the podium and how to hone that and to celebrate that. Working with Mei-Ann Chin was so special because she saw the entire person. She was not only interested in us as conductors, but as humans, as members of society, as civic leaders as well. I remember being called into the office for this mysterious conversation with the staff and Mei-Ann Chin. They were inviting myself and another colleague, Kellen Gray, to guest conduct the iconic Martin Luther King concert for the Chicago Sinfonietta. As an assistant conductor, this was a huge honor to be able to assume the position on the podium and lead this incredible orchestra. The musicians were so warm and welcoming. It felt like family. It felt like we had been working together for years. I remember when I gave the news of this appointment to Mei Ann over the phone and she called me and the excitement, the joy that she shared with me in that moment. And it wasn't just a joy between the two of us, but the joy for our community and for as Mei Ann likes to call it, our village. You know, it takes a village to raise an orchestra. It takes a village to train and raise a conductor. And I'm so grateful for the village of the Chicago Sinfonietta and for the training of Mei Ann and the entire staff and team and how they have built me an entire generation of diverse conductors who are taking over the field currently.